So what country it, has the highest number of serial killers? I want to say U.S. off the top, but I feel like it's a trick. What's up, everybody? Welcome back. My name is Eric. I'm joined by Kobe and Billy. We are the three. <laughs> What's Welcome up? back to the... Re- yeah. How are you guys? It's been a while, guys. It's been a while. It's been a while. Yeah. I was getting texts like, where are you guys at? Like, we, <laughs> we miss y'all. We, we changed locations. If you see, we're no longer in our house. We're at Next Level Studios in Stanford, which is awesome. It's Next Level. <laughs> yeah. It's been, I, I, I mean, there's so much to talk about. Like Barbie, the movie Barbie came out. We haven't talked about that. Gosling. Um Ooh. Have and, you seen it? Not yet. Okay. Obviously, our new set because we're monetized now, boys. Yeah, we're monetized. Yeah, we're monetized. And you know what, guys? We made so much money so far. You want to know what, how much we made? <laughs> Don't tell them it's too much. C- cameras three cut. cents. <laughs> Let's go, baby. <laughs> we made three cents, so it's a penny for each of us. All right, penny penny each. But okay. I mean, not many people can say they're monetized though, no. especially yeah. this no. fast. Especially not this fast. Yeah. But this is so cool. I mean, even if it's three pennies, it doesn't matter. I mean, yeah, no, it's it's exciting. doing it anyway. <laughs> exactly. It's Doing exciting. it regardless. Do it for free. Let's talk about the stuff that's been happening since, oh gosh, since the few months we haven't yeah, we've been gone. So iPhone 15 month? dropped. iPhone 15. I over, just got the 14. So over, I don't know why they keep, I feel like I'm being, it's a hoax. There's nothing <laughs> new about it besides it's just made out of titanium, right? That's the only difference? It's super light. But it's that's it? Light. That's it. So it's just it's just a lighter phone. It has the same features. There's There's an action button now. So the volume silent rocker. Mm-hmm. Which which your phone should be on silent anyways, anyways. at all times. Yeah, no one keeps it on. Loud. So now it's a yeah. button, an actual button you press in. You could program it to launch. As Snapchat. I put mine on silent, <laughs> <laughs> you could launch TikTok. Um, but it's twelve hundred bucks at least, right? You got to get more storage. Yeah. What would it take for you guys to upgrade now? Because iPhone uh, phones now look like phones. It, right. It's not going to look like a triangle. It's not going to look like a <sighs> hexagon. It is a f- slab, a rectangular slab. Uh, is maybe it, a foldable. But wait, is the camera better? Yeah, of course. Every year it gets better. So year. that's the only reason why I upgrade because I like I like the fact that you can do stuff with your phone and it just keeps looking better. But there's the new update, whatever this is, that like when you put your phone next to somebody's phone, it does these weird things. Like yeah. it's really, I get annoyed with those updates. I, I know love, you like them. I love the updates. I download the betas. I learn what the features are going to be a year in advance. iPhone Real. groupie. <laughs> he's I watch every he's key- iPhone nerd. <laughs> I watch every keynote live. <laughs> that's me, baby. iPhone. Are you going on those those uh, those Apple like conferences that they do? Not and the watching conferences. Them? No, no, no. I know soldiers on them. Eric so sees them before they come up. I was shooting them a text like, "Bro, what, what what should I do about this phone? Should I get it or not?" I know when they're going to come out. I know the rumors. <laughs> I know the that you're going to have to change your case because you know they they do small refinements, right? They make it thinner, they make it lighter, they make it rounder. So they <laughs> they have to let the manufacturers know the cases ahead of time. Mm-hmm. So I already know what the phone looks like. Seven months before it comes out, they you know change the those things though. <laughs> and they the switch those things around and make more money, and it yeah. works. It works. Change and, it, and so. <clears throat> but why can't one now, thing? One thing about this: why can't they make one charger for all phones? There's a country it's so annoying. somewhere overseas. They just passed that law that really? starting next year, they're gonna every every single charging device is gonna have one cord. We need that because that's friggin' annoying. It's like, and then now when you get on airplanes. Like now you can't because it does the USB, so nobody does USB C. That's annoying. Come on, it's, iPhone. You got to carry around so many cords. Well, okay. So what? What would it take you now to switch? Do do does Samsung? Does Google do all those things even appeal to you guys? Not do you at even all. Care? Not at all. Even yeah, I, I don't. I, I'm I'm annoyed with anybody who does not have an iPhone. Same. Same. <laughs> Remember your sister? Yes. <laughs> we we were like we're in a group text with his sister, um, which. Love you. Just want to give you a hard Get time. Get an iPhone. <laughs> Get an iPhone. <laughs> but we, but she doesn't have an iPhone, and it's funny because when you text somebody in the group text, it goes like it sends a separate text to him, a separate text to me. So you're texting people like five times. Right. They're right, coming right. up green. And but I love you. And <laughs> and so that's why just because the texting. That's why it's yeah. annoying to you guys. Well, I mean that, and then everything. Every other device I have is Apple. Yeah. So the Mac. Everything's compatible with okay. the phone. You know? By the way, my sister has an Android too. So. Oh, Shelly, are you Get kidding me? I know. Get oh my God, iPhone. of all people? <laughs> yeah, I know. You need the most reliable stuff. So <laughs> so now that like flip phones have come back, Razer flip phones have come back, um, the the phones that, uh, the foldables, they call them foldables, yeah. mm-hmm. where the screen, it opens to like a Game Boy, kind of yeah, like a sidekick. Why do I need that? Right, so realistically, are you guys ever going to leave iPhone. Nah. Nah. 
No, but I don't know that I need to upgrade every time unless it's a new camera. You know what I mean? Plus, no. you need to make it to where you can upgrade every year instead of every yeah. two years. It's so dumb. Okay. So, so I have one uh, thing I want to discuss. Do you guys know why? I mean, this is random, but why men have nipples? This is random, but I am very curious <laughs> now. But isn't it, isn't it a good question? <laughs> what? what does it have to do with iPhones? I just what watched. What does it have to do with iPhones? Oh my God, we're talking about iPhones and then, hey, do you? Yes, because I was watching. have nipples? Oh my God. What is it for? I was watching something last night and I was like, because women have nipples because they're feeding babies. Right. Why do men have nipples? I don't know. Is it just I actually so know the answer weird? to this and that's why I just was shocked. Is there is use it? to them? There's no use. It's just for looks. For men, no use. <laughs> I really That's don't the answer? Know, bro. No, 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 no. There is no use for them for men. It's because when we were fetuses, we all start as female. Is that crazy? So you start off as female and then you, you know, your sex blown, changes bro. to male. Isn't, that, isn't it? So I told you I had to bring it up. I know it's random. I know we're coming. We're talking about iPhones and I'm talking about nipples, but I had to bring it up. Isn't that crazy? It's been a great show, guys. This is <laughs> something new, bro. Five minutes in. Uh, wow. We'll end on high, I guess. <laughs> Why men have nipples? But we yes. all start as female. Wow. Yeah. In the fetus, you start in the womb as a uh, all fetuses start as female, and then you turn into well, your good sex. Good for us for fighting and making that change, <laughs> right? But, you know, <laughs> Jurassic Park. It's totally fake movie, but right. all the dinosaurs are female yep. in the book, right? Yep. And, and movies, but yeah, but that's that kind of kinda, so. Yeah, I saw it last night, and I was like, okay, I know this is a random topic, but I got to bring it up because that's me. Random. Oh, well, thank you for that. Now you, it's it's <laughs> Billy. So cool, Billy wants a spotlight now, so I can move on to uh, Billy. <laughs> Billy's. Uh, it's Billy's topic. Oh God! Well, that was it. Also, uh, before we move off the iPhone. Oh, that was Billy's. All right, call that, me. that was it. <laughs> Why do guys have nipples? Before we move off the iPhone, did you guys? You guys have definitely heard that that iPhone is like the sign of Illuminati. No, what? you guys haven't seen that. No, I, I do know that sign. And the it's tri- like um, the triangles of the cameras now are all in a triangle shape. I got a, a video I can show y'all about it, but it's like, well, oh, yours because of the three. Illuminati's that secret society, and they the oh, three triangles. Yeah, yes. they control There's a whole the, thing. Let me see if I can pull it really quick so we don't waste any time but wow but uh, is this illuminati the same as like beyonce and believe, have you seen Kanye that believe, where yes. they're saying beyonce is a witch all them. It, come do you guys believe beyonce is a witch they tried to show her daughter dancing and her daughter went like this with her fingers and somebody slowed it down and then circled it and was like see she's giving the sign i'm like who has time in the middle of a dance to throw an illuminati sign or they you know, do, i don't know they do the little things like that though they'll, they'll slow down slow clips and they'll zoom in and be like oh you see that and you see that and they'll try and make a thing out of well, it i don't think i don't think she's a witch little blue ivy i don't think blue ivy's a witch <laughs> i know wow that's that what we're doing slowing down 12 year olds dancing the, uh, and what their pinky does it's something that definitely look into. So Apple is part of the Illuminati? It's a rumor. You're so, part of the Illuminati because you love the Apple. <laughs> I, I would be, I guess. But <laughs> if Apple and Beyonce are on board, then maybe I'm... I think Lil Wayne too, bro. What? Really? Mm-hmm. Okay. Because, gotta, the, because the, the cameras... There was a music video a few years ago. He shot... Um, remember when all those movie theater shootings were happening? Mm-hmm. He shot a music video and like... Two weeks before one of the theaters got shot up, he did a music video with 13 skeletons in the theater with him, and a theater got shot up, killed 13 people. Oh, oh, that's terrible. This is weird. <laughs> Lil There's Wayne. Little things like that. Like, I don't know. I yeah. got I to find that headline. Yeah. That's wild. Yeah. Whoa, what are the odds of that? This is lady, and I never knew we could do this as humans, bro. Our body as humans are insane. Uh oh. This lady mm. had uh, her arms were amputated, right? Like from the elbows up. Okay. And they took and so so did surgery whatever and put male arms from the elbow down on this lady really so her hands are, and i got a photo of her hands are huge but after a few weeks her skin uh complexion the guy's arms actually mutated to her complexion wait wow. what so so her the arms that were not hers turned into her complexion yeah how did was that possible was she, she a, a black woman? Asian, I think. Asian woman. I'm going to pull it up right now. And the, the male. It was the craziest body. thing that I saw. Yeah, and The male said, forearms changed to her complexion. They were saying something that like, since the majority of her body was still hers, and yes. that was the only thing, it would adapt to whatever you're... I don't know, bro. It's crazy. Bro. That's crazy. But first of all, I want to go. Could they not have found woman arms? I don't like, know. Who? Maybe she <laughs> wanted. I don't know why she wanted the male arms. <laughs> but it looks choosing? funny because she's got like these huge freaking hands. <laughs> I'm just going. She's like the one with the forearms. Those are mine. Yes. Yeah, I don't know why lady. she specifically was like, "Give me those arms." Those look but, like. Those look like. Look at her hands. Oh. 
And then that, that they and mutated and they changed the yeah. complexion and now they match her complexion. By your body. It can be reshaped and remodeled in response to the new host stimuli. And the body begins its DIY work to customize the limb. Now suppose you take the limb from a man and then plug it into a young girl. The differences in blood flow, mechanical stress, and hormonal signals will mean a decrease in bone density and some muscle atrophy. So that's crazy. Was that work with every body part? I, I wonder, well, I, that's now that's making me wonder. Well, remember Marlene? She, she got her finger chopped off on a boating accident, yep. and her, her dad saved it. Nice. Yeah, yeah that's he, what they say. Yeah, said, put yeah, it on ice. Yep. Put it back on. Put yeah. it on ice and put it right back on. And they sewed it back on her. Yep. And it right looks back normal on now. It right? looks normal. You can see like a little bit of like where it came off, but no, it just it's back on. Human body is crazy, man. It really is. But right, but how? So your body knows. Okay, now it's someone else's arm, and I'll just adjust. Literally, yeah, it was yeah I guess because it's, it's tissue, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. That's oof. It was so weird, though, bro. Like, because he he was like a light skinned guy, I guess, and then he was way darker than her. And then after a few weeks, it just kept gradually changing. Wow, her that color, is kind of spooky, but it's kind of cool. It is insane. But that's what if you think about like snakes, if you chop them in half, they can grow like another tail, right? Like lizard lizards can chop Ugh, the tail off yeah, and go see? right back, bro. Wow. Thank that's you crazy. for that. That's crazy. How did you, you see, come across learn that? New I watched things, folks. <laughs> crazy pages on Instagram watching stuff like that but it makes you wonder too like I wonder how how far fetched they're gonna get with this like combining different people's mm -hmm. they probably they probably right oh I'm now, sure they yeah. are yeah yeah now look Especially have you ever seen the, have you ever seen a liger yeah which is a tiger and a lion have you seen it before it's Napoleon Dynamite. Then, yeah, I'm like, is that from Harry Potter or something? Napoleon like, no, Dynamite. It's real. It's, they actually have a real one. A liger. It's huge. It's really big. I just got over. Let's see. It was probably a, two weeks ago. I just got the flu. Right. And I was thinking, okay, I haven't had the flu in like a long time. Right. And I was thinking, okay, wait, hold on. Why haven't I had this in like three years? And I'm like, oh, wait, COVID. Everyone's been wearing their masks. Yep. You go into Target. Wear your mask. Whole Foods, you wear your mask. You got a daycare drop off, wherever you go, you wear your mask. And now 2023, everyone's so casual with it. I know for me, like I go to the library, I don't want a mask. Mm -hmm. And then I, I got, I got sick. And so. And it wasn't COVID, right? No, I, I tested, I got the new COVID test stuff and it, it was negative. Mm -hmm. So I'm assuming it was a type, type of flu, but you look at the headlines and COVID is coming back. So that's why I tested. And I thought COVID was done, yeah. but apparently not. I guess it oh, just no, keeps. Oh, no, it's not done. It keeps mutating. Because yeah, the last insane. one I know of is Delta. Right. Right? Yep. No, Omicron. 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 Yeah. Omicron. Yeah. Is that, that, that was the bad one. I oh, hated that one. <laughs> that was the most recent one up until now? I, I thought it was COVID, Delta, Omicron, and then now whatever this new thing so is. There's so many now. I'm so lost. It's like Omega-3 or I don't know. Omega-3. <laughs> <Omega. laughs> It's some kind of name. So what country has the highest number of serial killers? I want to say U.S. off the top, but I feel like it's a trick. I'm going to go. You said top three? Top three. Hmm. I have the top ten, but I want to see if you guys know the top three. I got U.S. in there somewhere in the top three. Country. Colby and I like to watch scary movies. Yes. He, by the way, sends the scariest movies yes. ever. Watch but Poughkeepsie <laughs> tapes. That one messed me up. But um, this one is another, another thing. I was looking at the news last night, and I saw this, and I was shocked because... Yeah. Isn't it crazy that people actually keep stats on this? Yes. Yes. <laughs> it's it's like, and it's. That's so much job. Then like, I went and Googled it, and it's documented like in, in a scary way on Wikipedia where you're like, okay, I don't need to know all that. But yeah. Let's go. Well, a serial killer has to. Let's go India. Serial killer. <laughs> Just because it's the biggest <laughs> population? Yeah, the most people, right? <laughs> I got Indian people like, damn. At US, number two. Right. Uh, three. Australia. Serial killers. I want to know this. I always just think U.S. is always top of the lot. I like top of the charts, bro. Country. I know Japan. It can't be Japan. Maybe China. Maybe maybe it's Japan. Maybe it is. No. For the top serial killers. No. What do no you guys way. think? What country has the most serial killers? Okay. So I'm gonna start at number three. It was South Africa. They have had 117 documented serial killers. This year? No, just serial oh, like, killers. Damn, sure. This of year? All, of all God. time? <laughs> yeah, of all time. 117. That's people. That's, that's Different 117 killers. people. You know what I mean? So they killers. could, you know. Wow. Um, England is 166. No way. Yeah. The number one is the United States. It has to be. And this is what's crazy. You heard that England's 166 is number two. 
probably double that. 180? It's probably triple that. 3,204. So it crazy. says that the U.S. accounts a 4% of the world population, but 68% of the world's serial killers. Is that crazy? I believe it. That's a bad Isn't thing. Isn't that insane? 68%. It is insane. And we only have the small population. He was right. India is number nine. Russia, China. And they've had 80. And they have billions of people. And they've had 80 serial the killers. The U.S. is wild, man. Russia is at 73. Why Why is it regional, though? Why Why is it the U.S.? I don't know. It's something about the U.S. So if, if all 10 of them. So number 10 is Russia. Number uh, nine is India which is with 80. Australia has 81. They're eight. Germany is 85. Uh, people. Japan is under Germany, which is 95 people. Then it goes Italy, 97. Canada, 106. South Africa, 117. England, 166. And then US, 3,204. Which is like. So that's almost all the other countries added up don't even combine us. They don't right? combine. That's what I'm saying. The U.S. is fucking stupid, bro. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? There's some crazy wow. people living, man. And I don't know. What do y'all think it is? Like, why, why the U.S.? I don't know. I think maybe because the U.S. is. I don't know. Because maybe there's a lot of like. Like you have to pretend to be stuff, and I, yeah. I don't know. You can't. People aren't honest. People, yeah. like I think, politics. Certain religion and politics have made people be a certain way that then they do all this stuff hidden. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know. I don't. I'm trying to figure it out myself. Well, remember that dude Ivan from the studio? He's Russian. We said when we oh. first met him, we're like, "Nice to meet you." And we were smiling, and he wasn't smiling. And I think one day we asked, like, "Hey, why don't?" He's like, "Dude, that means fake in Ru yeah. Russian culture. You don't smile at people." It means they're up yeah. to something or I no good. That. He said I, Americans wear smiles as masks. I love that. And I, we were like, what? And then it was like, okay, okay that makes sense. 3,000. 3,000. And what's crazy is in Colombia was the worst serial killer. He killed over 300 people, but it's just less number. They don't have as many serial killers. Dude. It doesn't surprise me for all. 3,000? That, that just blew my mind. I know. Yeah. So okay. I talk about nipples and serial killers, folks. <laughs> Lock your doors. I told you I'm a manager at the old studio. Lived next to, uh, what's his name? Not next to, but like a couple houses down from, um, I was telling y'all about it. Which one? Not Dahmer. Who's Not the other John one? Wayne Gacy, right? No, no. Who's the other one? The, the, the handsome guy. Bat oh. In the Beetle. Um, I know Manson? No, 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 no. In the Beetle. He drove a little Beetle. Always had to act like his arm was broke and he would kill girls. Oh, Zac Efron? No. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it what? is Zac Efron in the oh, movie. Wait. B Bundy? Yes, Bundy. Oh. Bundy. <laughs> <laughs> not, not, he, like, it wasn't a movie runs, though. It was a Zach movie. a serial killer? But no, she, so she, they grew up a few houses down from his family. Bro. Oh, oh goodness. my God. Just a, norm, just a normal fam. Christmas lights every That's year. That's Normal shit, bro. That's spooky. Did they, and they kicked it? They were literally friends? Well, they didn't know at the time. Oh, so no, I don't they think they them? kicked it. They were just, you know, like a hey neighbor type oh. of thing. Like, you know, I don't think they went over there. Oof. I hope not. I'm talking about the U.S. <laughs> hmm. There's 50 different chemicals that go into our, well, 50 different chemicals in food that are banned in every other country besides the U.S. And that's just another thing to add on to the serial killers. Well, the U.S. is just chemicals that are banned. Skittles, there's hot Cheetos, Twinkies, there's stuff that go into all of those that mm -hmm. other countries don't use at all, that they ban completely. So uh, Australia or something Japan, doesn't. In Japan, yeah. Bans, yeah. Banned yeah. Skittles. Yeah. Well, what is a Skittle? I mean, it's sugar, so chemicals. chemicals sugar that they put chemicals. in there <laughs> that are harming your system, man. Maybe, yeah. maybe for them that, to ban it in another country has got to be pretty and then I don't know bro it's just like a seeing that that goes into the food and then seeing our health deteriorate yeah. as we get older it's just it makes sense or maybe that's why people are killers they're, they're <laughs> drinking <laughs> weird too many skittles, skittles, food. Bro. too many skittles too many skittles it's like that show have you seen the show upload yeah it's like that show how they print the food out yes. or whatever and it's not really it's, anything it's print insane, food man but yeah you gotta see it. it's a fun show but it's it's like what he's talking about that all the food is made out of different chemicals and stuff. But I mean, even y'all say y'all say when y'all go to Japan, the food's so much better. Oh yeah, you know, like it is night and day difference. Just could, even their McDonald's there, you could eat it because they can't they can't they're not allowed GMOs. So it's just better quality. They're killing us, man. They're killing us. My dad worked at a uh, a large food corporation like corporate America for thirty years, and whenever the Japanese buyers would come around the investors mm -hmm. they would say okay we want to bring on uh pop -tar i'm just using an example it wasn't pop tarts but we want to have pop tarts in our country we'll license the recipe blah 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 and you know great that's a check for my dad's company but they would also say but can you take out all the toxic chemicals like we that's mm. we'll, we'll get sued that's bad for our people 
Uh, so we'll take it with no junk in it. So that's why sometimes you'll have Skittles in Japan. And you're mm-hmm. like, God, why are they better? It tastes more yep. mm. natural. It's because they use real they use lemon real concentrate or you yeah. know whatever. And they, they don't put in cardboard. They don't put in bugs in their food. And you're trying to wonder why we do it. It's because of money. I mean, it's, yeah. it's cheaper to make fake stuff. You yeah. know? Is it though? Because I go to a, a, I go to I shop at Aldi's. I have an Aldi's by my house. Aldi's is nice. And you know, you read the back What's of that? it's like it's Ger- not German. It's um somewhere overseas. It's a grocery store, but it's cheaper. Is it okay. like fi- it is German? I think is it German? It it's might be like German. That. Yeah, we had them back home. And you read the back of the the apple juice, and it'll say ingredients. Apples, yes. <laughs> water. Oh, so it's not all these crazy sugar. things inside of it. Yeah, it's corn, it's like German? syrup and. Uh, I believe all these. Well, I'll check right now. Oh, hmm. it's something like that, bro. A fraction of the co- like yes. eggs there is a dollar. You know what I mean for a dozen eggs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, me and my ex when we lived together, we would go in there and literally come out with like two shopping carts full so of. So it's food. nationwide. I've never heard of this. Aldi, and it is German, by the way. I just looked it ah. up. Mm, interesting. Would you rather be fluent in all languages, or be a master of? Every instrument, Kobe, you first master of every instrument, bro. Why? Because mm. music is language in itself. Yeah, I just saw a okay. post. I think okay. maybe you sent it to me. I don't know. I saw it online where um, they said that people who get chills from music, it's like I think a I certain said that thing. To you, yes, yes, yeah, it's true because music does it. I think it does. I don't know though. For me to speak every language fluent. I would do the language because I could travel anywhere in the world. That's a really good point. You know, you don't have to feel lost. Like, how do I ask for food or where's my hotel? You just, yeah, because like France, they hate you if you can't speak to them. <laughs> they really do. If you go to France and you, you speak English, they're like, Ugh, Americans. Ugh. that's of all the countries. That's the one the most that they will scoff at you. They at least like you to try and give bad French. So okay. I would love languages. You go instrument, you go language. Gosh, I don't know. I would, the language would seem cool. I mean, my wife would flip out if I knew every single language. That would language. be sweet, right? Mm-hmm. But every instrument, the, the ladies like instruments too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If you could play sax or guitar, like that's pretty awesome. I was thinking, awesome. I used to take piano as a kid and my mom wanted to, me to take, um, I did drums, but she, she wanted me to take harp or like violin. Mm-hmm. And when you're a 12 year old boy- Nobody wants that. You want, you want to do football. You want yeah. to do, you know, so I didn't do it. But <laughs> now, harp. if I bust out oh my God. a violin at a function or a party, yeah. I would, I would be the yeah. apex man at that. Yeah, party. what's that you little I mean? one? It's not the uh, it's not the violin. There's one that's a little bit shorter than that. But you cello? play this. I think it's no, real not, small. Not the cello. Oh, the uh, ukulele. Do you hold it to your your neck? Yeah. Oh, that's violin. Violin. Uh, or viola. Uh, maybe it's that. My boy's really good at it. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I love violin and cello. It's so funny because in school in Boston they make everybody play an instrument and. Well, I, I kind of did something stupid. I'm the, the odd kid, of course. Everybody else uses a guitar and different things. And so they showed pictures of all the different instruments. And did I you was have the like, triangle? no, I chose oh. the French horn because I liked the way it looked. And they were like, because you have to order it. The school has to order it. And they're like, what kid? Asked for, everybody's That's like, that circle one? Like, <laughs> it's a circle with all the little <laughs> buttons on it. But I don't know what it was. It just looked cool. And they were so annoyed with me. And then they ordered it. But then when I got home and told my mom, she was like, why would you? She's like, everybody plays the saxophone or the guitar. So then we had to go back. And the school was annoyed with us because they're like, we already ordered the French horn for this boy. <laughs> I just a looked French up what a French horn, horn is. Oh my gosh! I don't like, know why. Oh. I got. I got to pull. Up, I'll. I'll. I'll send you some pictures. That you uh, can put up on the screen. Yeah, I know. I don't know who. Does anybody even play that anymore? I no. Know, they, this is what they all d- went under on the Titanic. No one has this <laughs> shit. Oh god! I don't me? know why. I don't know what was wrong with me. Would you rather have a nose that drips mayonnaise, or ears that whistle as you breathe? Oh my god. <laughs> Oh God! So, but it's constant. It's for all, it's always. But the thing is, you don't always. <laughs> that would be annoying. Male, male. <laughs> the male coming I'm, out your nose. You want it? You want horns out of your ears? <laughs> I don't know though, because the male, as, as constantly as you breathe. I mean, your nose only drips every once in a while. I guess I would do the male. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, male. The whistle. <laughs> that would be so the annoying. dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> Can't record today. <laughs> Forever, I guess. Cause <laughs> All day we just... <laughs> Sleep, shower, oh God. movie theater. <laughs> Mayonnaise, you can kind of just wear a mask and no one, no one will yeah. see it. Yeah, the noise, the whistling, you couldn't do much probably. Would you rather... 
be the son of Oprah or Beyonce? Oh. Don't aren't people upset with Oprah right now? Are they? They she are, but it's money? so unfair. Isn't no, she, you know what? Okay, look, look. Yeah. Yeah, you know what it is? You can't I, I think I get bothered when somebody does such good for the world. And then people are so judgmental. They always find something to pick at. So what happened is the thing happened in Hawaii, that mm. big fire. Right. And her and The Rock went there and they gave millions of dollars to the families, directly to the families. And then they were like, she, Oprah said, she goes, and I saw something. Dolly Parton did something with, um, I think some school had a shoot or whatever, some kind of thing. And Dolly Parton wanted to give money directly to the family. So she started a fund after she gave money for people to, to donate directly to the family. So Oprah and The Rock went to Hawaii and they were like, we gave our money now. Other people were like, how can we help? How can we help? And they were doing it to different organizations which weren't really giving the people the money. So she said, let's start a fund. So she started a fund for people to give money and people were like, how dare you ask people for money? You're a billionaire. And they're mad at her for that. And I was like, she already gave money. She went there. She stayed there for months to help. And they were mad because they said she shouldn't be asking people for money because what? she's a billionaire. And so that's well, why they've been judging her. Well, can't you just not donate if you don't have the extra money to donate? And move That's what on? I'm saying. It's like, but people were donating, but it wasn't going directly to the families. And the families were saying, we want actual money. We don't want these other things. Give us the direct money. So she was trying to make that possible by setting up this whole thing. And she said, and it backfired because people started thinking that she didn't do anything, that she was asking them for money. And she was like, I was trying to help. I, I think people were mad, though, because she owns half of one of the islands out there. And they were saying, can people set up their you know, camps there because people lost everything. Their yeah. house burned yeah. down. They have yeah. nothing. Oh yeah. They have nothing. That's where we were going to yeah. go. Yeah. That was right. The exact oh, area. Oh That's right. <laughs> you guys went somewhere else instead. Bahamas, Bahamas which was awesome. Oh, okay. Yeah. But okay. that was right where, right where it was. And Crazy. it's Ka'anapali in, in Maui. That's the most beautiful spot in Maui. So I, I guess people were mad though, because they were saying she has billions of real estate on Hawaii. Mm -hmm. Could she liquidate some, sell a few acres? That's where they were mad. Mm -hmm. Cause it is weird though super successful woman, more money than anyone would probably ever see besides Elon and like a few other people. But it, the optics do sound strange. Oprah asking for money, especially mm -hmm. during this time. Yeah. Like inflation growth, you know, eggs yeah. are five bucks or, you know, whatever. I, mean, I feel like she did her part, bro. Yeah. Doing millions and then just millions. everybody else help out. But like now, but cause she's so rich, she can't ever spread awareness to right. go, by the way, this exists. Yeah. That's all she fund. was doing. But I, I I don't know. I just feel like I she's, say cancel her. She's done. <laughs> such, oh my God. No. no, she's done such good things that I'm like, I just don't get it. But, um, you know, I don't know. I don't know. But it, answer to your question, I'd rather be, uh, to your question, I'd rather be, um, Oprah's child. I'd rather be Oprah's child too, because uh, Jay Z being my dad, because if, if Beyonce is my mom, you know what I mean. Uh, he doesn't want to deal with me like a grown ass person. Yeah, Oprah would at least be like, "Well, I'm single, just go do what you want." And like, Oprah, uh, you're gonna learn something. Oh, 100%. you know what I mean. You're definitely gonna learn something from her. 100. All right, Oprah, good answer. Would you rather know how you're gonna die or when you're gonna die? <laughs> the date, the how? time, the, how? The, the, yeah. I'd rather know how. Really. How are you gonna die? Uh, but what about how? If they're like, you're gonna die from a, a bear, <laughs> you're gonna be constantly looking over your shoulder. That's true. I just think if they, all right, this date, you're gonna die on this date. That's all I'm gonna be thinking about. But wouldn't you wanna live life to the fullest though? Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a win. I'm a win. I'd rather know when. Because I think it would make me go, I have six months, then I'm gonna live and live. You know what I mean? But the, uh, yeah, win, win for me. What about you? Right, because the how, it, if you, you know, read it on a fortune cookie or however you, you find out, it could say, oh, you're going to die of old age. Then it's like, all right, well. It could say you're going to die while eating cheese. Ah. No, I can never eat cheese again. I'll live forever. <laughs> that would suck. <laughs> I at, know, right? Because I love some cheese. I'm like. Oh, you're at Cheesecake Factory and then you're horrible. eating cheesecake and then you go, wait. <gasps> and then you choke on the cheesecake. So you choose how. I, think, yeah. I choose when. I'll I'll go. I might go. How? If I'm gonna be eaten by a shark, maybe I just avoid the ocean. Yeah. But then, then, but you're still gonna be eaten by a shark, even if you avoid the ocean. So <laughs> you don't know tornado. how it's gonna happen. <laughs> it's gonna be a shark tornado. <laughs> okay, I'll go. I'll go when. So I know. Okay, I have six months. Let's go to Vegas. What if they said tomorrow? Film my podcast. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> but you know what's crazy with Sharknado? Have you seen there was a new one and it's called Zombie, I think I sent it to you the link, Zombie Shark Tsunami. <laughs> So it's like all they're all zombies and they're inside the wave. I sent it to you and you were like, don't ever send me this again. <laughs> the shark is a zombie? No, I think it's sharks and zombie people inside the waves and the wave comes upon the island or whatever. Bruh. It's from the same people who did Sharknado. It's so stupid. So zombies are in the waves with... With sharks. So the sharks aren't zombies. Mm-mm, but the people are. Dang, that sounds like a lot of... Stuff yeah, to deal with. It's women zombies. It's I know, crazy, right? <laughs> Would you rather lick the bottom of your shoe? Ew. Or the doorknob to a restroom? Ew. A public restroom. So would you rather lick the bottom mm, of your shoe or shoe. the doorknob to a public restroom? My shoe. Same for me. The shoe, ba- 100%. The bathroom... Don't they do those test swabs and they find cr- they find dog bro yep. shit human and crap. people's hands people don't wash their hands and they're picking their butt they're picking their do nose. you know the producer of you know the show Big Brother yeah so there's a producer who's been the one who's done pretty much all the seasons here in a few other countries and he said the most disturbing thing as a producer because they're watching people in these houses all day he says is nobody washes their hands after they go to the bathroom. He said, women and men. He goes, he goes, and it's, he goes, they become so routine. He goes that you're back there as a producer watching these cameras and you're like, they're gonna wash their hands? Are they gonna wash their hands? And they don't wash their hands. That's nasty. He said, that's like 98% of the people that are on that show. He's like celebrity one, the regular one. People when they're home, go to the bathroom and just come out. You that's, know what I mean? That's nasty. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I would rather- So that's why the doorknob, yeah, yeah, no, no, thank you, bro. I'll I'd take the like shoe. The shoe, I guess. <laughs> I'd rather like neither. <laughs> no, I don't want either, but yeah, same, gross. Would you rather, okay, um, never be able to speak again, okay, or you can speak, but it has to come out as song on Broadway. No, oh, I'd be singing all the time. <laughs> I, already do it, I already do it anyway. <laughs> but you can't talk like that. You'd have to sing that to me. I'd have to sing everything. Yeah, I would do that. I would do that. that. Is, that's so annoying. <laughs> it is, but I would do <laughs> that. Or you could never talk again. I can't just say yes. I have to go, yes. Yes. Ah. Did you ever watch what? Proud? What was it? The Proud Family on Disney Channel growing up? No. No. Uh-uh. There's a guy on the uncle sang? on there. He always sung everything. Like, he that's talk. all he did. <laughs> I was more of a Nickelodeon guy. I never did Disney. It's weird. Yeah, I would be singing. I, I'd rather speak than not. So I, I would choose speak in musical. So you have to do it yeah. now. So how would you do it? <laughs> like this. <laughs> how about you going? <laughs> Wait, why did I choose to go high? I could have gone you low. You went real high. You went Michael Jackson on it. You always like go high. this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Would you rather find a person or 1,000 cockroaches in your attic? <laughs> well, that one actually Wait, hurts my soul. 1,000 cockroaches. I don't know about well, that because cockroaches you can't get rid of. If you have mm-hmm. one or if you have more than three cockroaches in your house, they're never going away. Yeah. Whereas a person is a person alive or dead. Oh, alive. Oh well. Oh God, because that show you made That's us what I was watch. Like, you've been watching too much of that. Show, <laughs> What's that called again? Frogging. Frogging. Oh God. On Hulu, available now. All I would seasons. say. I don't want anybody in my house. So I would say the roaches, but I. But that would just be a nightmare. Yeah, I'm going roaches, bro. Ooh, you could you could bomb the place. I Billy has a point though. Once it's past the certain, it's 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 considered an infestation after yeah. ten. So you can kill a thousand roaches, but they're gonna keep. It, it's never gonna. Mm. You you have to move. It's yeah. always gonna be a problem. Plus, it's in the attic, so I wouldn't care. I'd rather find a person. <laughs> I think. Really? Yeah, because you know you think about it, you could. <laughs> Uh, you could horrifying. Call, you, well, you ask them to leave. If they don't leave, it is horrifying. Yeah, or the cops take I them mean, down. You better have a gun. Cause call the call the police. But once, because once <sighs> it's over ten, ro- you're, you're, it's done, mm. right? It's flagged as roach infested. But a person is oh, nasty no. they can, and creepy because they've been up there for ten years and you n- you never knew. <laughs> you know, my grandmother, God rest her soul. I remember in the house that she used to live in, sometimes she'd be cooking and I would just see her go. Roach. Yep. My old apartment had moved And in. so I used to be freaked out eating there when I was a kid, but then I ended up loving it because she was so good. But anyway, go ahead. Yeah, the old apartment when I first moved in, it had roaches back home. Really? Yeah. In it, Virginia? And fucking light fixtures in the bathroom everywhere, bro. Did it freak you out? Just had to kill them, bomb them. 
traps, everything. That's what I'm saying. You can, you can get rid of them. It is an infestation at some point. But you can also leave your house and it can bomb your and house can, for like two days. Does it work? Most of the time. Uh-huh. I don't know. I, I'd be freaked out. Like, you know what I can say is my apartment here, I don't know what kind of luck I have. I don't know if it's because the second floor. I think I've had one spider in that apartment. Like, oh, I have yeah. not in the six years I've been there, I've not found a spider. I've not. The only thing I found was a millipede. One time it was on my leg Ew. and I, <laughs> I kicked my leg and went flying and they're really fast. Yeah. And so it went somewhere. So I was so freaked out. I took every piece of furniture out of my room. <laughs> I started my room from scratch because I was like, it was, and it was like 11 o'clock at night. I was like, I'm not going to bed because I don't know where it went. And so I took everything out, my mattress, everything and started fresh again. Did you just sleep on the couch that night? Yep. You, you just couldn't? On the couch and slowly brought stuff in one by one because I was like, I'm going to find this thing, but I never found it. Damn. Yeah. So you choose, you, you would go with roaches in your attic? Ugh, I you, don't want to, but you, I would go with the roaches. Because he said you could bomb it, so I would go with the roaches. I'm going with roaches. I would go person and just tell him to leave. You want to kill him? Well, does he have a gun? <laughs> uh, no, let's say no. So Can I would you give him a fire a warning shot. Get out! <laughs> Wait, I would just kill <laughs> some homeless guy in my attic <laughs> for no reason. For no reason. What if he had been eating your food, wearing your clothes, all that, and you never knew about it? That would be just violating. What if you have pictures of you up there that he was so, having some me time to it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's funny. You go up there and you're like, he's just a, like to a shrine shoes. to you. Just, oh, yeah. All shoes. Just. All. <laughs> Wait. So this is a little silly story. When we first moved to California, my dad, we lived in Studio City. And my dad used to teach karate out of his garage. So he built like a little floor and they would teach karate classes, do privates out of the garage. And one day we were driving, they picked us up from school, my mom and dad, and we look, and my mom used to make my dad his karate uniforms. She used to make him so cool, all of them, yeah, and they would have like blanks or name on the back and certain colors he liked. And we're walking, or driving, and my dad goes, that's my karate uniform. So a homeless man broke into our garage and was wearing my dad's full well, gi, just walking down the street like- In the gi, bro? <laughs> yes. That's my karate It said Billy really Blanks on it? Yes, it said Blanks on it. And it was like, and it had like the stripes because he had these like certain stripes because you know, my dad's over the top. So some of them had like weird things on the side of it. And so 100% was his. Did he turn around? Yes, we went over and the man just looked at him like he was crazy. And he's like, that's mine, whatever it was. <laughs> and the man's like, fuck you. <laughs> Whoa. Yep. If I asked your dad, will he remember this? Oh, he'll 100% remember it because that it was- too Funny, we we then laughed because there's nothing you can do. You know what right. I mean? You do jump on the man, but yeah. That's why he broke in. Just took a gi. Broke in. Took, took more stuff, obviously, but that was the thing he put on was the gi. Trying to stay warm, man. <laughs> wow. Isn't that funny? Of all things to grab, a, a <laughs> gi. A gi. <laughs> Would you rather stay the age you are now, or age backwards? Oh, Benjamin Button. Benjamin uh, Button. In. So just keep getting younger. Or stay the age I am now forever. Yeah. Stay the age I am now. Same for me. So when I become a two-year-old baby again, I'll take care of you. <laughs> That's right. He keeps going backwards. And we just like, take care of him. Who's going to carry me from room to room? <laughs> <laughs> Not my own family, but Kobe. <laughs> right, right. They're like, why is Kobe here? I could bring Eric to the thing. <laughs> I guess carry Eric in that I little move chest him thing. into my apartment. Like, <laughs> like you, you put him on that little, you know, the, the baby thing he wears. <laughs> we got to film today, show. <laughs> Let's do the podcast, Eric. <laughs> What's your first qu question, Eric? <laughs> I'm like, goo goo gaga. -ga. I guess stay the same age. Yeah. I don't want to be a too like. Eh, this doesn't sound fun. Yeah, to keep going yeah, backwards. I don't know though, because going back through your 20s again, that might be kind of fun, and not with the knowledge you have. Yeah. Because yeah, you would know, lose no. your knowledge too as you went back. Yeah. Oh, would I don't Do think you, you would. No, I think you would keep, keep the knowledge. Okay, yeah. Okay. But then you would forget how to walk eventually. <laughs> forget how to potty <laughs> train. Like so many things, bro. I don't know. I'd say my age. I like my age. Yeah. I would I, say when. I would stay, but that would be weird. My kids being older than me, at some point. <laughs> that would be weird. I didn't think about that. <laughs> That'd be so. Weird. That would be funny though. Oh, should be looking at you like. Oh, but dang! But then I'd have to like their funeral. I would have to be there because oh, I just stay yeah. pegged at thirty. So you're just immortal. Yeah. You're never going to die? Or how about you stay pegged at 30 for no, you're, 60 nope, years? No, stay the same age. Well, you would stay the same age, but for 60 years, and then you, after oh, yeah. that, you would, you would die. And you would die at some point. Okay, okay. I guess I would have... Oh, my God. <laughs> Why is it so tough? I know. You really want to go backwards? I don't know that I would do the backwards one. Or 
Then some point you're going to go back and become... You're you're losing that driver's license pretty soon, man. Yeah, and then you become a sperm again. (laughs) (laughs) You hitting us up for rods and everything. That Benjamin... I don't know if I could do Benjamin. He's perplexed. I guess... I guess I'd have to stay the same age. I, I guess that I guess you would, right? The Benjamin guess. button, the Benjamin button would be no option. No, it's. I was trying to see the the light on that side, but that's yeah, actually just done. crap. Oh, airplane, you applesauce! <laughs> <laughs> we were like, why are you? <laughs> what are you like not my wife or my family. It's like Kobe is the one. Just a single like, guy. <laughs> <laughs> Taking care of shows. Would you rather never be able to shower again? You can still bathe, but not in the shower. Okay, you'd have to find other ways. So no shower or never be able to use an inside toilet again. Oh. oh I can never gosh. use I can never use my own toilet again. Never. An inside an toilet, inside at, toilet. All, at all. That means you gotta always go to the bathroom outside. Or use a oh, bucket. Oh god, that's that's horrifying. But the thing is never shower again. You'd be stuck. You can shower. You just gotta can't do it in the shower. You gotta find another way. It's when it rains or go hit the river or something. Okay, bro. so you could still oh, but like a like a use an actual shower. Okay, so ugh. Oh you mean indoor bathing too. Yeah. So no, no bath, no whole bath, no sink, nope. right? Nope. No whole bath. <laughs> Oof. I mean, I would figure it out with the shower one. I would get. I would go to Equinox, I guess. I would get a membership at a gym. Can you do that? Yeah. I would, I, okay, then I'd do that. Yeah, when, when we had a snowstorm back home, power was out, but at the gym it was still on. I would go there and you shower. Got, yeah. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah, That's gym really showers, really yeah. fine. You know, I would rather that because... Wait, wait, no, I said no indoor showers, guys. Oh, oh no indoor yeah. showers. Well, y'all trying to trick me on my own Could you use an outdoor shower? I say no indoor or just showers. <laughs> like trying to find uh, a loophole. Ma- Malibu, all those beaches out there have showers. Yeah, you just bring your, just and you know, naked. like beaches just have them, naked. pools. You know what I mean? So maybe that, but even that would still feel like you, you're never really going to get clean yeah. unless you're not afraid basically, to take though, off your stuff. Basically, I mean, I I got to go to the bathroom at my house. <laughs> There's no other way around that. So I would I would choose shower. I would find showers outside someplace. Wouldn't that suck? <laughs> that suck, that sucks so bad. Would you choose shower? The bathroom thing, I can't. I, I don't even not to like. I don't like to use any bathroom but my own. Same. <laughs> I get freaked out. Or coals, right? But are, I'm always. I, I think we talked about this, but I'm always intrigued by like. You ever go into a public restroom and there are some like manly men that come in and don't give a crap to come yes. in and like blow that toilet up, and yes. I, I would be so scared. Like that's some people are just not afraid to do that. I don't know if it's a a free thing or if it's just being polite, bro. Because I'm the same. It's polite. I I never fuck it. I would never do that, bro. I I make like I don't even like to fart in the in the bath. I'm like, (laughs) I run water. I move the (laughs) trash can. I'll do like I'm doing stuff because I don't like to do that either. So when people just come in and blow it out, I'm like, what's wrong with you? The craziest bathrooms I've heard is the airport. I've I've heard people puking. Of course, explosive number twos. Oh. Um, you know what dude, he used to do? Dude, like hawking loogies in the toilet. <laughs> there was this clip that oh, I don't know what you're saying. There's a clip on Instagram talking about bathrooms. Um, this guy had this whole plane and they were all in on it and he was gonna propose to his wife and she went to the bathroom. So they all stood up and she was blowing that bitch up, bro. And the whole plane was. I quiet. sent that to you. I sent that I to you. Okay. I was like, bro, that's gonna have me rolling. Yeah, that's I'll, that would that would that's kind of it's so funny because I'm like I would if she would just come out and be so embarrassed because the whole plane had cameras it was quiet. like waiting for her to come out and I've all you this. could hear in the bathroom was just farting. I'm wondering if they did that in post though. Does it oh, look you real? Think, Does I don't it look know. Real? I mean, you never know. Nowadays. I don't know. You never know with these things, but I th- I think it was uh, that's horrible. Who are you saying that he used to do? Um, oh, he used to if we went into a bathroom and somebody was doing that, he would go. Do okay, and like say something. <laughs> Did you remember the one time you did, it? <laughs> or he'd say something, or like, oh, it smells, or like certain things, and just you just run out because like, don't do that. If the person comes out, that's actually really rude. Looking back now, and I did, I, I did do that. If you would see someone's legs like sitting on the toilet and go, oh my god, it smells in here. <laughs> he would do that, and it would make me. If I'm washing my hands, I go faster because I want to get go, out. Because he'd be gone. He would do it and then leave. And so Smart then you're stuck man. in the Smart bathroom. Man. You're I, stuck in there. Why did I do that? <laughs> Don't know. <laughs> it's a funny story, but now looking back, it's like, oh man, that was. I know you would take a uh, Nutella and they'll be in the stalls oh and they'll reach under and touch oh. somebody. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like I'm on toilet w- paper. Can you pass me? Oh, I would be so mad. I would find somebody. <laughs> Be so bad. All right, guys. That, this is a great talk. There was a lot of things covered from Nutella under the stall to getting your flu shot. The serial killers. The male nipples. <laughs> the serial killers. Lock your doors, up, folks, uh, at night. Wait, did I, did I say that right? Lock your folks. Lock your doors at night, folks. There it is. 
Great where show, guys. Where can, they come, where can they find you? They can find me at Champagne Shoji on social media. At Perfectly Different, no I. At Billy Blanks Jr. Guys, we are the three. Thank you so much for tuning in and listening to our, our show. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.